20 years after the terrorist attacks on the World Trade Towers in New York. Is the world today safer, and there is no risk of similar attacks? The way New York looks has changed and the whole world as well, but it is not safer. Please discuss the achievements in the world in the past 20 years in the comments to hear opinions from different countries. One of the biggest mistakes ever made by the superpowers was the use of the extremists to fight their enemies, America funded and armed Al-Qaeda to fight the Soviet Union in Afghanistan, which led to the 11 Sept attacks. After the attacks of September 11, 2001, the United States launched a long series of military operations in different countries, it has not succeeded in ending terrorism nor in building a new world order. After all these wars and the huge money spent, what went wrong? The attempt to impose certain policies or a fait accompli by force did not provide peace or stability. It may have managed to temporarily limit attacks, but it failed to eliminate them. It was better to support a balanced international law that is applied to all without exceptions, based on achieving justice without the need to use this amount of weapons. It was also possible to direct part of the money that was spent on military operations to the development of poor countries. The sense of injustice and lack of credibility of international forces and institutions, in addition to poverty and unemployment, as well as the policy of double standards, which provides protection to some countries, provides the ground for the growth and spread of violence and extremism. Before September 2001, there was one main terrorist organization, Al-Qaeda. Today, in addition to Al-Qaeda there are many other new organizations and sleeper cells scattered around the world. The world is even witnessing attacks from people not associated with organizations or what is known as the lone wolves. Let us review a number of cases that did not work. The Taliban regained control with unexpected ease over Afghanistan, after 20 years of American occupation, in which it did not succeed in building an army capable of fighting. Many considered the withdrawal as a defeat. Military operation in Somalia failed and the United States withdrew from there. In Iraq, there is no state in the true sense, and it may collapse easily. It was almost wiped off the map in 2014. The US operations and support for the various forces in Syria, did not succeed in imposing a new regime. In Yemen, airstrikes did not succeed in eliminating Al-Qaeda. The civil war has been going on for several years, in which the American-made weapons play a major role. The tension in Palestinian territories is in its worst days, the United States obstructed the implementation of the relevant international resolutions, and did not attempt to play the role of a neutral mediator. Watch more videos from this channel.